transfer cannot be completed because there's not enough room on your brand new iPhone 12 Max, Pro Max, whichever one you are using. If you are experiencing this particular error, it can be super frustrating. And I figured out how to get around the error so you can get all of your data from your previous iPhone to your new iPhone without having to do it manually. Hi, and welcome to Dad's Tech Advice, where you come for the tech reviews, but you stay for the dad jokes. This was a really frustrating process for me. I received my iPhone 12 Pro Max the other day, and then when I went to transfer between the phones, it kept telling me that there was not enough space on the new iPhone. Obviously, I had the 512 gig iPhone and I wasn't trying to transfer that much data. So I knew this was a bogus message, but nonetheless, I was unable to complete that transfer successfully. To make matters even worse, it was completely frustrating because it had you do every other setup step before this error pops up. And then once it pops up, your only option is to reset and start from scratch. Super frustrating, I know. I tried a million different things, including updating my old phone to the new 14.2 update and uh, the new phone as well. So I had them both on the latest update, still received the error. I thought that might have been the case because on the previous version of iOS, OS, there was an issue where certain apps, uh, specifically the health app, was showing up as if it took like 12 petabytes worth of data. And I was thinking maybe that confused the new iPhone to thinking that, hey, there's not uh, enough room. But I did that fix. I did the update and I still received that message. So if you want to fix this, there is a, a way to do it that keeps all of your data intact, uh, but it does require an additional step. And hey, this video is sponsored by TubeTemplates.com. TubeTemplates is your source for affordable YouTube graphics. Whether you're looking for a subscribe watermark or an animated subscribe button to put in your videos, TubeTemplates is the place. Head over to TubeTemplates.com. Use promo code DADSTECH to save 25%. All right, so the solution to this is to first back up your old phone to iTunes on either your PC or Mac. Then you want to go through the setup process on your new iPhone, get to the point where it says transfer data or other options. You want to select other options, and from the other options section, you can have the ability to restore from iTunes via a Mac or PC. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to plug that phone into your PC, and you're going to back up or you're going to recover the backup that you made from your other phone onto your brand new iPhone 12 or 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max. Don't exactly know every single model. So let me know in the comments below which particular iPhone 12 you ran into this issue on. I'd love to know how widespread it is. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you to help you get past this and save all of your data. If so, I'd appreciate you clicking that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to see future videos here on Dad's Tech Advice. And if you're still here, you want a dad joke, so here it is. What kind of exercises do lazy people do? Diddly squats. And hey, check out one of dad's tech videos on screen now, and I'll see you in the next video. What kind of exercises to... <laughs> what kind of exercises... <laughs> You're a professional.